What is going on gamers and welcome back to another Overwatch gameplay video. Hey, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys exclusively uh, Sombra footage in competitive play and uh, just kind of break down my strategies and how you can really best play Sombra in the competitive environment. I know she's uh, a bit of a black sheep, a bit of an underdog. Uh, most players don't really like having her on their team in competitive. But, uh, you know, I think we even saw this past weekend in Vegas some of these uh, teams, even FaZe pulled out uh, a Sombra, especially late in the, uh, the competition, which is uh, pretty cool. But uh, she definitely has a learning curve. She's a three-star difficulty character. But once you get her down, once you understand her really well, then uh, you can be pretty lethal and extremely, extremely useful. So I'm going to talk about all of her usefulness here in this video. Now, uh, one of the first things I would tell you is that in competitive play, it's so important to take out high priority targets. So one of the best things that you can do as a Sombra is stealth in and hack their tanks. Tanks are, uh, sh they, they definitely should be a target for you when it comes to uh, using your hack ability. It's super crucial that you use that hack ability on these high priority targets. Uh, just a quick note here, focus on Faras. I'll get to that in a bit, but since it's in the gameplay right here, I figure it's, uh, I just mention it. But, uh, yeah, these tanks. So one of the things that you gotta do is uh, target Reinhardt's, uh, Zarya's, Roadhog's, Divas. In this gameplay, you're gonna see me hack all of those tanks uh, at various stages uh, of the gameplay. But it's, it's so crucial, especially when they're making these team pushes and they're counting on the, uh, those tank abilities. Uh, it's definitely something that's going to help your team out in uh, some pretty dramatic ways. So make sure you are uh, focusing your attention on those tanks, know where they are, stealth uh, behind them, and get that hack done. And uh, you definitely want to make sure you got a translocator placed beforehand. If not, there are other really creative ways to use that translocator beacon. If you have one cooled down, you can chuck them up over walls and then teleport to them and get uh, out of line of sight if you need to. But stealthing in, hacking these tanks, a big, big part of being a good Sombra in competitive play. Because these tanks rely almost exclusively on their abilities in order to make good team pushes. So when you take that out of the picture, they are up a creek without a paddle. You see uh, the Reinhardt, uh, I had hacked him. So for a while, he was just kind of uh, sitting duck out there in the middle, just swinging wildly. And then uh, he's easy pickings after that. Another thing you want to do is hack, uh, hack key health packs on the map. And so you see me at the very beginning of that, uh, that match there, hacking the health pack. Uh, one of the big health packs, so they're, they're down to only having one big health pack on that side of the choke point after that. Another thing you want to do is hack in, or, uh, stealth in and uh, take out healers. So when you stealth in, you, you, uh, you can come up from behind and then there's these healers that, that kind of stay behind, uh, you know, behind other players and they're, they're easy targets. By the way, check this out. Uh, one creative way of using the translocator, you can get out of Zarya all. Is that gravity well? Just chuck it up somewhere else and uh, get the heck out of Dodge. But anyways, stealth in, you see uh, you see they're really targeting that uh, Mercy. Getting Mercies down first is a, a big, big part of uh, thwarting team pushes because a lot of times they're counting on those uh, team revives. You know, a lot of times it comes down to a clutch revive where you use your alts, you waste your alts to uh, wipe the team. Suddenly that Mercy comes, uh, comes in and reses everybody and then you've got nothing to shut that whole team down. So uh, very crucial to stealth in, take out those healers like Mercy's. Zenyatta's are really easy targets. Zenyatta's go down so fast from behind uh, with, uh, uh, with Sombra. They're such easy, easy targets uh, for Sombra to shut down. So also make sure that you are stacking uh, your, uh, your EMP alt with other alts when you can. Make sure you call it out and time it when you're going to hit the most possible people. Uh, get that trophy for, for hacking, uh, getting the whole team caught in EMP. Uh, I actually got that trophy in competitive play, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So uh, make sure you are timing that alt correctly. Don't just waste it. Um, and you see here, here's a good uh, example of that, where I come from behind and I drop that EMP and it, it affects most of the team. And they're just sitting ducks, and it's an easy team wipe that we can get here to uh, shut everything down, shut this push down. 
Another thing I would tell you is that Sombra's mobility is one of her greatest assets. You definitely have to, have to, have to get used to all of her mobility options, and the, the Translocator frees you up to do some really, really creative things and to traverse the map in some really creative ways. And it doesn't have a very long cooldown. It's only six seconds for your Translocator, so you can chuck it, teleport somewhere, and then it's going to be cooled down and ready to use just six seconds later. So. Um, you can really really use that in some pretty cool ways and you see a lot of that in the gameplay here One of the best things it does for you is gets you out of Roadhog hooks And I think uh, I slipped a few of those plays in this gameplay as well where I get hooked by a Roadhog And then I just uh, I teleport away and so when once you get hooked if you've got a translocator place You just start spamming that uh, the button to, to teleport back to it and uh, even with uh, a, a good Roadhog they don't have time to get that shot off before you're gone. Like, uh, I, I can honestly say that even in competitive play, I've never been hooked by a Roadhog yet as a Sombra and, uh, and uh, been outgunned before I could teleport away. That has not happened yet. The teleport is just faster than the shotgun animation. So uh, you're in you're in good shape if that happens to you. And they, you know, they have to deal with their cooldown now. So. A great way to combat Roadhogs right there. Um, Translocator so good just for getting uh, behind enemy lines to see here again just picking on that Zenyatta. Like I said, they just go down so fast. They go down so fast with the Sombra. I love Sombra's primary weapon. Uh, this SMG has a really great ammo capacity. Uh, that mag size is huge. So um, you can really uh, make short work of tanks too. If you're getting those crits, it usually takes maybe one and a half mags uh, to drop these guys. So that's pretty freaking solid, pretty freaking solid. Now I will tell you that you need to keep an eye out for junk rat traps because junk rat traps can really mess you up and, and uh, <laughs> give you a bad day. So as a, as a Sombra. So make sure if they have uh, a junk rat on the enemy team, which I don't see a ton of in competitive, I, I mean every now and then, but generally I don't see a ton of them in competitive play. So when you do see them, uh, make sure that you uh, keep an eye out for those traps. Um, now another thing I would I would tell you is in regards to her mobility, uh, she just has Sombra just has such a great perspective on the battlefield. Like you see here, I'm I'm gonna go from one side of this uh, you know this combat zone to the next just by chucking that translocator, teaming up with my teammates, and then stealthing back behind them. I decide you know maybe I do need to get back here and hack some of these tanks. And sure enough, that's what I do. Just stealth back here, hack a tank. And then uh, I soak up a little bit of aggro from that Farah, dump back into, into cover, and then I can come back out and re-engage. It's just um, you know, when you have that mobility, you have such a unique perspective on the battlefield. And that also means that your callouts are, are uh, extremely important as a competitive Sombra. Because you can see things that, that not everyone can see. You can quickly get from one side of the battlefield to the next and back again if you need to. Uh, so you've got uh, a good a good perspective on the whole layout, what they're pushing with, what their uh, their team comp is, and uh, how they're how they're stacking their tanks and their healers, uh, you know their formations, that kind of stuff. You've got a perspective on that, and then uh, you also have the the I mean as a as a sombra, your alt timing is if you get it right, it's just it's just so easy because of your stealth abilities and your uh, translocator. Like you can just insert yourself instantly, drop it, and then get out. And uh, you know you can make really short work of team pushes if you play that alt right and you time it well with your teammates and their alts as well. So I know I mentioned this early, uh, earlier very briefly, but you see this in, in this gameplay here. You really do need to uh, focus on the things that you can take out that other people can't take out as easily. Uh, and in this case, I'm talking specifically about Farah. As far as on console, at least, uh, are I, th I think, in my opinion, uh, Farahs are a little bit more lethal on console than they are uh, on PC. But um, just because of, of the aiming and how different it is, it is it is a little bit different. But uh, on consoles, Farahs can be such a huge pain. So make sure that you know you've got a hit scan weapon here. It's it's a really good weapon for taking out Faras, so make sure that you focus on those. Listen to the callouts of your teammates; they'll tell you uh, where where Faras are. Especially if you're asking for callouts, you know where's that Farah? Let me know if you see that Farah. Call her out, and then you can focus on her. And uh, you know you can take her out super quickly. And if you get uh, close enough to hack, then uh, she's really really uh, vulnerable because she can't do her. Um, 
you know, the knockback uh, rocket and those other things. She's just super vulnerable. So if you get the opportunity to hack her, feel free to do so. Uh, another quick thing, Lucio's are the only healers that I think are, are a little bit more troublesome for Sombra to uh, combat. So one of the things that I would tell you to do is if you get the opportunity to do so, hack a Lucio first before you engage him. Uh, with Mercies and Zenyatta's, they go down so fast. But um, with Lucio, they're just so mobile. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get that hack on because of how mobile good Lucio's are. But try and hack them first uh, before you try to uh, do any damage. And team fire is really, really important. So hopefully this gameplay was entertaining for you. Hopefully uh, some of the tips are helpful for you. And it gives you a little bit more of a perspective on how to play Sombra in these competitive environments a little bit better. So feel free to stop by the stream sometime, guys. We did a nice competitive Overwatch stream yesterday. Thanks for stopping by the video. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you uh, online in some Overwatch.